Does Fortnite keep crashing but you can't figure out why? Let's try these solutions to try fix that. Before we try out any major fixes, first try verifying your files. It might be that some missing or corrupted files keep crashing your game. Now let's move on to some more specific fixes. Open up your Fortnite game folder and navigate through it till you find this exe that ends with shipping. Go into its properties and then click on the compatibility tab. Enable compatibility mode and set it to Windows 8. Also turn on disable full screen optimizations. Now click on apply and OK. The next thing you can try is in this same folder. You'll be able to find this easy anti cheat folder. Click into it and follow these steps to repair any issues we have with easy anti cheat. Right click on this easy anti cheat exe file and create a desktop shortcut. Drag the shortcut file back into the folder and open up its properties. Right here in this text box, after the apostrophe, leave a space and type in repair. And again, click on apply and OK. Now double click and run it. If your game still keeps crashing, let's try this next fix that even Epic Games recommends. To start with, press the Windows key plus R to bring up this search box and then type in percent local app data percent then press enter. Now scroll down until you find Fortnite game. This folder is basically Fortnite's cache folder. And in my case, I have 1.7 gigs of pretty much useless data. Go ahead and delete it. If you don't feel comfortable deleting this, you could also just rename the folder so you could revert it back if you want to. Let's also clear up our Epic Games launcher cache and Windows cache, which can sometimes cause issues. Exit Epic Games if it's still running. And then let's go back into the local app data folder. In here, find the Epic Games launcher folder. Then go into saved and delete this folder called web cache. Open up the search box and type in percent, temp, percent, and go ahead and delete everything here and skip over anything that it can't delete. And finally, make sure your graphic drivers are all up to date. 